The security forces used tear gas to disperse thousands of youths who took to the streets to reject the policies of President François Hollande. The demonstrators lobbed bottles, fireworks, and iron bars at the police. Police say at least 150 people have been arrested and 12 officers have been injured. The demonstrators called for the repeal of the law and urged the government to respect freedom of speech. Hollande is the least popular French president in history. His approval ratings are at an all-time low, mostly due to the fact that he has not delivered on his campaign promises. For thousands of demonstrators, this is a day of anger to protest against what they call the flop policies of the French government. They have a long list of demands. We have fiscal demands, demands related to the status of the family, unemployment, the youth, freedom of speech and expression. We have a long list of demands and each French citizen is angry and can join this demonstration against the government and President François Hollande. The protesters insist if their demands are not met, the government and President Hollande must step down. The demonstration was held in Paris, with some protesters also angry at the government's decision to legalize same-sex marriage. This demonstration is being organized by ordinary citizens and the civil society. There are neither political parties nor labor unions with us. This is the first time such a demonstration is being held. Some 50 associations are organizing this day of anger. The organizers hope to create more waves on the Internet by launching a website that calls for the resignation of the president. These demonstrators behind me say they've come from various parts of France and they say the real test for the Hollande administration lies in the coming months when the French will go to polls on European level and local level elections. Anastasia Proy, Press TV.